Hello there. I am Teacher April from JV for Yos National High School. I'm very happy to have you in my class for today. Our lesson for today is about Science Grade 7, Module 1, Scientific Method. Now, before we start our lesson, please prepare your pen, notebook, paper, and also a comfortable place for you to write your answers. Let's try first to read our objective for this morning. Describe the components of a scientific investigation. Very good! What is a scientific method? Do you have any idea? Wonderful! Well, that is closer to the answer. Let's define what is scientific method. Scientific method is a series of processes for experimentation that is used to explore observations and answer questions. Remember, if you are going to do the scientific method, remember the process and the procedure. It's like a ladder. Step-by-step -step processes. Okay? Great! Now, you have already an idea what is a scientific method. This time, let's try to dig deeper what are the step-by-step -step processes of a scientific method. Let's go. For us the to first step. Remember the step by step processes of a scientific method. What I do is have these letters always in my mind Q R H E A C R. Or I say Q R H E A C R. Q R H E A C R. These letters represent something for me. This means queen, Brazil, hides, emerald, after. Corley runs. Queen Rizel hides emerald after Corley runs. For me, what does this mean? Q, ask a question. R, do a background research. H, construct hypothesis. E, test with an experiment. A, analyze data. C, draw conclusion. R, communicate results. And this is how I remember the step-by-step -step processes of a scientific method. Isn't it easy? Well, you can try. Let's go. The first step for a scientific method is by asking a question. Of course, for you to know how to ask a question, you have to understand what is a good question. Do you know what is a HOTS question? A HOTS question is called Higher Order Thinking Skills. This is referring to ability to apply, analyze, synthesize, reason, comprehend, and evaluate. If the question has that ability to reason, analyze, synthesize, comprehend, and evaluate, then that is a good question. The second step of a scientific method is do a background research. How do we do that? In doing a background research, you have to anchor and you have to connect your question to your investigation. How do we do that? You can have ideas and options. You can write your ideas or you can also research it through the internet. In that way, it will be easier for you to understand how to do your research. Always remember your question. The third step for a scientific method is construct a hypothesis. Hmm, what is a hypothesis? In constructing hypothesis, you have to understand that there is also a good hypothesis. Yes, if there is a good question, then there is a good hypothesis. How do we know that? If I do this, then this will happen. That kind
kind of sentence pattern is already a form of a good hypothesis. Why? Because it answers the question, how? And that is how a good hypothesis is constructed. Now, we're on to our fourth step. We are going to test our hypothesis by doing an experiment. Of course, we have to. Why? For us to test if our hypothesis is true or false. <laughs> yes. So, in doing an experiment, it's not all the time that your procedure could work. Sometimes, it could not work. That is how an experiment is done. But this time, let's try to dig deeper. If it is a yes, we will proceed to step 5 procedure of scientific method. But if it is a no, then we have to troubleshoot your procedure until such time that you carefully check the processes for you to achieve your answer to the problem okay very good now if you finally accomplished through several errors and several retakes of your troubleshooting of your procedures then we are going to do the step five of the scientific method analyze your data and draw a conclusion hmm that's quite hard how do we do that it's complicated don't worry it's not complicated. In analyzing your data, focus to your problem. Focus to your hypothesis. And remember the target. Why do you want to do this experiment? Because you want to make a kite. If you want to make a kite, what do you need? Great! You need material. What is next? Yes, very good correct measurements. Of course, we have to test the height and speed of kite. Great job! At the same time, we have to find the right balance for it to fly. Those are what you call your data. We can measure it by its length, its speed, and height. In that way, we can be able to make our data. A data can be a graph or a table. There are so many data that we can access to. By drawing your conclusion, you have to understand that that depends to the data that you recorded. How do we draw a conclusion? Let me help you. You can start with a sentence pattern, therefore, and then you can continue your sentence. Example, therefore, you have to be accurate in making your measurements for the kite for it to fly. That is already a conclusion. Or you can say, I conclude that a kite can fly if and only you have the right measurements for it to fly. Those are the two examples for you to make your conclusions. This is the final step of the scientific method. Communicate your results. It is very important for us to communicate our results. How do we do that? Of course, we have to share these ideas. Now it's time for us to follow the step-by-step -step process of a scientific method. Let's review. What is the first step? Ask a question. Very good. Second, do a background research. Well done. Third step? Yes, great job. That is, construct a hypothesis. Fourth step? Yes, we test it with an experiment, or we test hypothesis through an experiment. Very good. How about if the procedure is not working? What must we do? Very good. We need to troubleshoot our procedure, and we are going to carefully check all the steps and setup. 
Great! How about if it is working? We can proceed to step 5. Now, what is step 5? Great job! Step 5 is we analyze data and draw conclusions. And the last one is... Yes! Good job! We are going to communicate our results. In communicating our results, that is the time that we have to discuss the things that we did and things that doesn't work. And that is the end of our step by step process for science. I hope it helps you more. We do a lot of investigation. You can do it even on your phones. Oh, and remember, there's always a little scientist inside you. Bye!